Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have some rigatoni with tomato sauce and we're talking about front to back organization. So guys, this is just your basic rigatoni with tomato pasta sauce and I have some Parmesan cheese here and I'm sorry, I am part Italian. I love Parmesan cheese, even though this is kind of, you know, fake Parmesan cheese, I just layer it on because, yes, that's how I roll. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mix it in a little bit. Check that out. Beautiful Parmesan tomato rigatoni. You can't get much more simpler or much more comfort food than this. It's basically macaroni and cheese with some tomato mixed in. Guys, what is your favorite pasta? Do you prefer some of the odd shaped pastas like the little ball pastas or the star shaped pastas or linguine or fettuccine? What kind of pasta did you grow up eating? Let me know, of course. So today's topic is front to back organization. And this was brought up by a friend of mine. We were just kind of having a casual conversation about how much waste we make on a day to day basis in terms of like old products, old food, stuff we don't use as consumers, as Americans, or first world country individuals. And he brought up the topic of, of course, front to back organization. And basically the concept is super, super simple. It's you put the oldest products you have at the front of your pantry, of your storage closet, of your work environment, of pretty much anywhere, you know, your, your shed, your storage area, your chemicals, your paints. That way, you're more apt to just grab the front product <clears throat> than digging all the way to the back to get to the newer stuff. You're trying to reduce your day-to-day -day waste. You try to be more efficient. And in the case of, like, foods, you're trying to eliminate wasteful spoilage. It's actually a really good idea for if you keep fruits or produce in your refrigerator. And it really is quite a sound and simple organization tactic. I just thought I'd share it with you guys. It can be applied to almost anything with a finite usage. Again, office tools, stuff you keep in your shed, chemicals, products, and most importantly, food. So go ahead, try the front to back organization technique.
apparently it stems from some supermarket thing, you know, very similar where shelf boys put the older products towards the front. So that product or produce is not wasted and it works really good in your day to day. This pasta sauce is very, <clears throat> very simple. Just a standard, you know, tomato pasta sauce, but it's fantastically delicious when combined with that Parmesan cheese or fake Parmesan cheese, as you call it. <clears throat> I know, you'd love me to buy the $12 four ounce block of cheese for the uh, authenticity, but let me tell you, cheese is cheese. Enjoy it, devour it, get over it. Save it for date night, if it were. Guys, I hope you're enjoying a big bowl of pasta while watching this video because pasta makes the world go round. Rice is okay, but give me pasta any day. Also, if you have any fantastic organizational techniques feel free to share them down in the comments I'm always looking for you know life improvement and I'm sure hundreds of thousands of other people on YouTube are looking for it as well There's a bit of zucchini in there. All right, so let's finish this up. Try to get this big hunk of tomato in there. Let's finish this up. Guys, remember to game, eat, and discuss. May your organization go well, and catch you next time.